Episode negative seven. Twilight. Twilight. Why hello there. Yes. For the last time, I am not going to bed with the you. The animation is I becoming think, more I think better. He has never said this, yes. It is heavily implied. Do not act it like is I don't innuendo. See. Yes, but you cannot say that Pinky. That, that means you cannot acknowledge Pinky's intentions until she properly seduces you. Twilight agrees. Yes. These are the rules. No. Then how does Pinky properly innuendo to Twilight? Yeah. <laughs> innuendo to Pinky. What the fuck? Take life more seriously. Grow a horn. No. Yes. But Twilight must come inside. Her life is in danger. From what? Okay, I'm inside. Why is everyone inside? I told you guys no more surprise parties. Behold! Out the window! That's Twilight racist! Just in time, gaze upon the pure, unadulterated horror of the zebra. What? She's just standing there. You don't understand. That's what makes it so sad. They actually have a walk cycle now, damn, she son. She Ponyville and she just stands there. Why does she do that? We don't know. Sometimes Everyone she stands up. up. Like, You're standing up right you, now. She just kind of... She's got a mohawk. I mean, oh my god. Dash, aren't you the one who was excited to go face down a dragon a little while ago? You guys are seriously hiding in terror in a candy store because there's a zebra in town. Well, it's different than a dragon, though. She's got stripes, like a tiger or a cuttlefish. <laughs> Black and white sure. represents the dual nature of mortality. Or morality. Mortal morality, yes. It is good and evil balanced within a hey, single... Hey, these are giving reasons. She is an affront to our existential shells. Yes. Seriously, who wears a mohawk in this day and age? Ravity, I will have to make you. yours look I'm like a... a warrior. I hear fashionized she's mohawk. Every fruit but tangerines. I heard she's a zebra. How do you be allergic to every fruit but tangerine? I'm making a comment on fruits. that. What's in them? Fruit. I'm pretty sure you've got to use some kind of evil witchcraft to make yourself allergic to everything but tangerines. Why would anyone use black magic to give themselves a food allergy? To well, resist it, I guess? For did. diet purposes? You know how, like, Dracula can't eat garlic because he's evil. Or maybe Dracula's a fictional character. Maybe. You are fictional characters. Mr. and Mrs. Cake, anyway. Shouldn't they be bothered that there's a group panic attack in their store and Pinky's not at the register? Mr. Cake is away on business and Mrs. Cake is Downstairs. checking inventory in the pantry with a couple of guys. Oh, wait, what? Underwings and Butterfly Sting, I know that one. You mean the heavyweight champion, unicorn boxer, Butterfly Sting? Oh, yeah. Apparently, he's headed up to Canterlot for some mountain cardio, and he stopped off... Oh, that was kind of adorable, I'll be honest. Even at the that was cute. Corner. I thought I might catch him, but apparently Mrs. Cake beat me to the punch. <laughs> Get wrecked, <laughs> Matty. Like and that guy's in his prime. He's married to, like, a model or something. I know, right? Go Mrs. Cake. I think it's just rightly deplorable. Poor Mr. Cake. I know he ain't the cutest fellow, but he's diligent. What did she say to get Butterfly Sting into the back room? And how did Thunderwings get involved? I like focus. <sighs> yes. There is evil at our doorstep, prepared to alter our very lives. And the very way we gossip about Mrs. K. I think some stallions just have a preference for older, curvier mares. Well, um, I Mr. guess K clearly has a preference for older, curvier mares, and they made promises to each other. You are just saying that because you are embarrassingly single all the time. Butterfly Sting is like oh, a, she's a traditionist. Strong, handsome celebrity. If you didn't go for it, you'd spend your entire life wondering what might have been. 30 seconds of sweating and grunting, and a memory that lasts forever, and with that memory, a flowing sense of self-confidence. Yeah, yeah, and it flows right down your face, and in this case, down your butt cheek, because there's two of them. And down your <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> darling, I hate to tell you this, but you have no experience here. You know, what else is forever is the obliterated trust between her and Mr. Cake if he finds out. And what business is it of yours? What level of experience I have? And just are we not here supposed to talk? Uh, are we not here supposed to be talking about the zebra? Danger to society, the striped zebra. Yeah, well, we don't know what the zebra does, but we know that Mrs. Cake is in the back <laughs> with a couple steps. Yeah, no. this yes. is pinky. We're not talking about the crowd, are we? Is it really that big of a deal? Cause I'll deal with it. Dash, come with me. Hey, Dash, gonna uh, kick her uh, in the. I knew it. What? You did it. Yes. Oh, we did a dual tech attack. Well, you should have told me. I thought you were pulling me out. Wait, where did the body go? Spell. She's dead. Yes. Okay. Now do Mrs. Cake. What happened? Do Mrs. what? Uh... We did a magic headbutt, and then she died. You did what? We know less than nothing about zebras. Something. Whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna predict. I'm not gonna predict anything. All we know is Scar's dead. Rip and piss. Get, get out of get out of the way, you big boxes! Don't make me turn you off. Turn you off. Turn you off. 
As far as I remember, the original Bridal Dots episode didn't bring that much discussion among the adult fandom, although people really liked Water Guy and Tiny Applejack, it was just a standard kids episode about judging boobs by the covers. It's a girl herself wasn't very captivating. Okay, I'm starting to get more comfy with his puppets, which is true. I love it. I was shown recently how it's possible to set up 3D backgrounds using Blender. So that may be next, the next thing to learn. I support you there. I want to see more. The car should explode there. I didn't read that part. Um, anyway, I got a bunch of emails since episode negative 6. I got back to a small couple of people who demonstrated some animation experience. If you haven't heard from me, it's not necessarily because you've been turned down, but it may be a bit. I'm trying to quickly follow up with the script and get blah blah blah. This has been a mentally advanced video designed for those viewers who feel they need more mentally challenged in their cartoons and I need to stop this. I've already reacted to this so you don't need to see that again. Okay that No doggy stay the fuck away! No sponsorship! <laughs> Come <laughs> on.